Welcome to the God Culture, where we urge you to challenge tradition as 1 Thessalonians 5.21 tells us, Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. We do not intend to be confrontational, but to compare what the Bible really says versus the traditions of men, which Jesus himself rebuked. Jesus said to the Pharisees, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. Mark 7, 9. We are completing our final video of the Solomon's Gold series now. However, we intend to continue to give updates on this topic while launching our Flood series next. However, our, in our extensive research of the Philippines especially, we came across an idea that was thrown out there by David Icke, a European researcher. We don't really listen to most of his videos because they come from a New Age perspective that we believe represents Kabbalah, ultimately which is the evil religion of Cain reinstituted after the flood in mass in Babylon. However, this is a question we wish to pose to our viewers. Again, we are not claiming to have any answers, as what is required is to drill into a chocolate hill and find out. We cannot prove this, but this is one of those things that make you go, hmm. But let's lay a little foundation first by traveling to another part of the world. Near Mexico City in Cholula, Pueblo, Mexico, archaeologists uncovered the largest pyramid in the world, 55 meters tall, 180 feet, and 400 by 400 square meters, 1300 by 1300 feet. Who would have known this mountain was not a mountain at all? Of course, scientists claim it was built around the 3rd century BC because of items, items found within it, because they cannot date the rock. But how on earth did it get covered with sediment then? No, this pyramid must have existed prior to the flood, and it was likely buried by the sediment of the receding worldwide floodwaters. Most scientists, of course, would not entertain such an idea because it comes from <gasps> the Bible. Then, about 10 years ago, an archaeologist has laid claim that this hill in Bosnia is in fact not a hill at all. Not just any pyramid, though. If this is fully proven, this will be possibly even larger than the pyramid in Mexico and the largest pyramid on earth, both of which larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. For those of you who have not researched this phenomenon, there are pyramids all over the world on virtually every continent, including underwater. Now, although there are articles and even some scientific proofs out there appearing to confirm this story to be true, we will wait for the final archaeological dig to prove this out 100%. We again make it clear this claim is not proven that we know of as of yet. So getting to the point here, this is a photo from another angle, and it certainly looks like a pyramid, doesn't it? And wow, it even has the architectural dimensions of the Great Pyramid, but larger. But again, we don't know for sure. We're just asking questions here. You decide. However, the shape of this hill looks somewhat familiar. Let's take a look at the chocolate hills of Bohol, Philippines. Here is a photo from above of the chocolate hills of Bohol, Philippines. Notice any similarities? Here they are from another angle and side by side with the Bosnian pyramid. Similar? Perhaps. So we are not archaeologists, but we are experts in graphic design. So we can utilize our skills here to test this out some. Again, ultimately, someone would need to drill into the chocolate hills and eventually excavate to prove this for sure. 
but we think it's worth asking some questions. Here is a picture of the Great Pyramid of Giza. We don't have to measure because we can actually take the pyramid itself and test it like so. First, we crop out the Great Pyramid without changing its dimensions like this. Then, we take this image and superimpose it onto the chocolate hills like this, shrinking the image uniformly so that even though it is smaller, the dimensional proportions remain the same. Why is it that the dimensional proportion of the Great Pyramid appears to be the same as the chocolate hills? Are these ancient pyramids smaller, but 1,600 of them? Yes, the hills are a bit rounded, just like the Bosnian Pyramid, and just like one would expect if they were covered over by sediment from the flood. Is Philippines the more ancient society we have been finding in our research? Will this lead us to further proof? Again, we're just asking the question here, and we cannot fully answer this. In our research, we came across this scripture in Isaiah that refers to the golden wedge of Ophir. Now, we don't know. This could certainly simply be referring to a gold bar. Perhaps they had gold bars back then. But could it be more telling? Could a wedge be referring to a pyramid? We don't know. We're just asking questions. Again, we are merely asking the question here. Don't throw stones. We have no conclusion nor any proof, but what if? And this is one of those things that make you go, hmm, you decide. Thank you for watching our Solomon's Gold series. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and view our website at thegodculture.com. Always remember to prove all things for yourself. Thank you.